will only slow you down. Just go. Matt. You're not getting off that easy. Come on. Oh my god, they have a quick time event for pulling somebody up. <coughs> Good start to the game. We have a, uh, so far I've had to mash X and then push circle to, to shake hands with somebody. Now. Basically. Good. Oh, now we got another quick time event to open the door. Alright. Good start. You got a good start here, guys. I think we're gonna have another one. Oh, yep. The controls are still kind of the same for them wanting to do a more <clears throat> for them wanting to do a more action-oriented game. Like, I don't know. It's like the controls are the same as they were in the last game. That it's like. Clashing. Leon, like the there? controls don't mesh with what they Not want again. to do. You're okay. All the cliches you would expect in in a game is Resident Evil 6. Yeah, the bloom effects in the are, are crazy. All the weird quick time event stuff. Like, there's so much quick time events. This has been. The game is. We're about 10 minutes in. It's been pretty much all quick time events so far. I mean, if you're gonna have a cutscene, I guess having it interactive isn't that bad, but. Man, I have wrist injuries. I can't. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> Oh man, the shooting is so much faster in this game. It's weird, man. After playing Resident Evil 4 and then switching to this, this is just like a completely different... I mean, it is a completely different game, but... Wow. <laughs> this is just an action game through and through at this point. Like all of, it's like the the all the moves from like Resident Evil 4 and all the but amped up to 11. Oh, is there stamina? I find it disturbing that you can just kick and punch your way through this game instead of like needing any sort of that was kind of cool, I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna lie, that was kind of cool. I keep forgetting I don't have any ammo. Oh no, an airplane! Yeah, this- this game jumped and jumped the shark, it jumped the goddamn whale. That's the so funny man. Oh boy. Oh my god. This is so ridiculous. This is like a this is Michael Bay. The game. Straight up Michael Bay the game. Oh, we're gonna jump to a helicopter by an explosion. Holy shit. You literally can't get much more cliche than this, but for some reason I kind of like it. I mean, the game don't feel bad to play at all. The combat is pretty satisfying. It just, I almost feel like this game would have been better received if they didn't market it as Resident Evil 6. If they, like, marketed it as Resident Evil d d Tactics. Or something. <laughs> they just called it some weird sub-game and labeled it as an action experience. I don't know if people would have complained. Seems pretty dope so far, honestly. Like right now, it's gonna want me to see. It wants me to do this now. Good thing I play Dead by Daylight, so I'm used to doing these. It's it's a fucking skill check. They're just making me do skill checks. If you're a Dead by Daylight fan, dude, this is the game for you. <laughs> you're basically doing all the Dead by Daylight shit.
this game is got is so insane. I'm almost numb to all the action at this point. So much has happened that like when a when a goddamn helicopter smashed through into something and then we fell out of it, I just acted like it was nothing. Like it was just like a normal thing. Cause that's how crazy this game has been so far. Dad, yeah, this tech debo has been super interactive so far. Enjoyable, Let's I like take a it. Break. It's a good tech debo. Stare at where you are. Zombie president. Mr. President. I can I'm pretty much guarantee it. So this game starts off with Leon's campaign with shooting the president. You start off this game shooting the zombie president. That's Leon's campaign. Beginning. Shoot shoot the president as a zombie. Holy shit. Jumping the shark 101. I just shot the president. I just shot the president. I just the way that line was delivered was so fucking good. I shot the president. Alright, I'll send the report. God damn, this game's amazing. No, I don't I don't know how people not like this game. This game is fucking incredible. Roger, Roger. It's your best bet. Roger, Roger. Wait, don't shoot. Oh no, is that the vice president? Are you gonna have to shoot the vice president now? I have to say, for a relatively older game, the the visuals are still fantastic. Like, they still hold up pretty well. There's this awful, like, mid-2000s, late-2000s bloom blur effect that I hate, but other than that, it's good. Oh. This music is incredible. There's, like, this really nice piano music in the background. Oh wow, and then there's harsh strings. What is happening? Are you a zombie? What is happening? Dad, where are Mom and Liam? Oh, oh, oh God. They're waiting for us at home. Oh God. Oh, <laughs> yeah, they're waiting. They're waiting at home. They're, don't, they're, they're waiting at home, all right. Going to be okay. She's gonna go, and then bite him. Right here. We're almost there. Liz? Oh God, that's like... You know the the greatest cry ever? The um yeah, guy. That was it's like they recreated that for that. It really took the emotion right out of the moment for me. Took me out of it. Very sad moment though. Oh my god. This turned from uh, Resident Evil to House of the Dead real quick. I don't have any ammo left. Oh that's right. This is a this is one of these kind of games, I forgot. Where you're running or you trip over the body. That's a nice attention to detail on a clip. You know, in a survival in a survival horror game this would be a nice detail. But instead they put it in a game that's not a survival horror game. I mean, like, th this would have been a good mechanic for any Resident Evil game. Like, except for this one. <laughs> I 
<laughs> With how serious the tone is supposed to be in this game, like, they toss in little goofy shit like this. <laughs> and then it just takes the, the seriousness out of the tone completely. Oh god. These guys deserve that. Let's go. Dude, they're so dumb. Farce. So they're like, well, what the hell? Why is ammo so rare? It's because they want you to, uh, it, first of all, they don't tell you about this. That you have this system where you can dive, but you're aiming at the same time. But it's a really smooth system they have where you go back. Um, so if I aim and go backwards, you fall backwards like this. It's cool. It's a, it's a good system. You go to the side, roll. It's nice. And then the other thing, they want you to do a lot of melee combat as well. So that's another reason why this game is gameplay is commonly misunderstood, because they're like, well, if it's an action-based game, why is there so little ammo? It's because they wanted that limited resource management that Resident Evil is always known for, but combined in an action atmosphere. So they learned to balance this shit. I, lo I love it. The combat in this game is actually really satisfying, like the hand-to-hand -hand combat. I like it. It's, it's, it's nice so far. Should've asked you to get a Pepsi. Bugger. <laughs> Did that zombie just hit me in the head with a fucking bottle? Oh wait, I stabbed him with it. Okay, so he was literally just holding the bottle so I could do that. But still, that's kind of funny. <laughs> there's a there's a zombie using a uh, weapon. This is <laughs> this is so weird. Why are they using physical weapons? Why are you swinging hands from all the way back here? I have a lot of questions. This kind of makes sense to me. Oh god, I don't have any ammo, bro. What do you expect me to do? I don't gotta... Okay, never mind. One surprise after another. Oh, nice. I like the papers fly off the table when you vault. It's... This nice effect, uh, nice attention to detail element. What the hell? Oh, they put the there's a giant emblem. They making it easy for us in this game. <laughs> I knew this person was gonna stand up. Oh, no, he gave him a bulldog. Leon gave the labor gave her a bulldog. Oh my god, you got the German suplex in Resident Evil 4. And Leon uh, has got the Bulldog in RE6. You gotta love it. I gotta give him credit, I have not seen very many repeated uh, kill animations. <laughs> it looks, looks so weird to do that and not have any ammo is just hilarious. The timing, the comedic timing on that. I think we just found a ride out of here. Damn it, no keys. Are you sure? What about the glove compartment? No, nothing. Okay. Should we hotwire it? Hold on. Found the keys. Um. Bunch of quick time events for trying to find where the guy hid his car us. keys. Oh man. You it's like a cutscene, but you get to do every little bit which is fine. It's better than just watching the damn thing. I gotta, do I get to steer the fucking car? No. No, I don't get to steer the car. I just get to, just get to watch him drive. That's cool, I guess. What's the matter? Not a fan of sewers? 
Come on. Let's just get to the cathedral. What the? And I'll tell you everything. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, Leon's one-liners in this game. Everything we know. So much injury, load management, shit. Leon, Helena, we'll be out of contact when you're in there. I'll still be tracking your movements, but be careful. Leon, Leon, what are you, uh, what are you doing? Leon, what are you, what are you doing? Whoa! He zombie jumped! Holy hell, what the hell? Oh my god! What the fuck? Okay. Woo! What the hell? Roger! Roger! Roger. Roger, burning zombie behind Roger. Look out. Train. Yeah, I got run over by a train. <laughs> 